Welcome back. This is Rajesh Pillai with yet another episode on React Model Dialog. This is the third part of the tutorial on building a model dialog using uh, React JS. In this third episode, uh, we will use the latest or the new feature from the React 16 portal, and we will see how to use the portal feature to build a model dialog. Now, this portal feature comes in very handy when you need to render your uh, model or some other uh, piece of your HTML element into a different parent other than the nearest one. Okay, let's have a look at this and how this works. Please watch the first two episodes of this tutorial before starting on with the third one. As usual, grab the latest source code uh, from the github.com Rajesh player slash YouTube React components. We will continue building on the source code that we left in this uh, last episode. Before we go with the model feature, let's have a look at uh, how the current application works. Now if I refresh my current application uh, after I definitely do the npm start in here so that the application is running on a port. Okay, now if I expand the body tag you will see there's a div with an id of root and within the root our app uh, div is kind of rendered right and within this we have this input button. Now if I click on this show model the model dialog is rendered within this div with a class of app okay which is actually contained within a parent div with an id of root. Now what if you want this model to be rendered in a different root element rather than a default one. This is where the portal feature of react 16 will come into play. Let's uh, go through the react js website and understand what this portal is all about rather than me building some presentation in here. So if you go through the documentation from the advanced guides on the react js uh, website you will see the definition of portal right. So here the portal provides a first class way to render children into a DOM node that exists outside the DOM hierarchy of the parent node. Okay, This is what we are trying to achieve. So if you look at the API, the react DOM has a method called create portal which takes a child as the first parameter and the container as the second parameter. Now if you look at this, the first argument child is any renderable react child. Okay, This can be any react child element. Okay, and uh, it can be react, uh, renderable react child such as an element string or a fragment. The second argument is a DOM element. So usage, right? So name, uh, normally when you return an element from a components render method, it's mounted into the DOM as a child of the nearest parent, right? So when you return this element, it's actually mounted to the nearest parent. However, sometimes it's useful to insert a child into a different location into the DOM. Okay, this is where the react dom.create portal comes into play. So react does not create a new div, it renders the children into a dom node which is actually being passed in here in the diagram in the code okay. and dom node is any valid dom regardless of its location in the dom. So what's the typical use case for this portal right? So a typical use case for portals is when a parent component has an overflow hidden or z index style where you need the child to visually break out of its container. For example, dialogues, right? In this case, the model dialog we are talking about are uh, hover cards and tooltips. Okay, so there are some important notes in here. So it is important to remember when working with portals, you will need to make sure to follow the proper accessibility guidelines right? in case you need to support area features and things like that. There are a couple of more information given in this website. Let's see how the event bubbling happens through the portals. So what is mentioned in this document is that a portal can be anywhere in the DOM tree but it behaves like a normal react child in every other way. Features like context works exactly the same regardless of whether the child is a portal or not. Okay, This includes event bubbling as well. An event fired from inside a portal will propagate to ancestors in the containing react tree as well even if those elements are not the ancestors in the DOM tree. Okay, so there are some uh, representation of the HTML given in there. I would suggest you to go through this documentation as well to understand more in detail uh, about some other integrities of working with portal. So let's get back to our code and convert our model dialog application that we are building uh, into a dialog that uses the feature of portal from React 16. Let's go back to the code. The first thing I'll do in here is I'll go to the public uh, folder within my project and open up the index.html 
Here if you look we have the div with an id of root. This is where our application is mounted. Now I will create one more root here for our model dialog. So I will call that div with an id of model root. Okay, so I created one more uh, root here and gave it an id of model root. So what we want is we want to render our model directly within this model root rather than mounting it into any of the parent of the root element. Now let's back to our model.js file uh, from the components folder and start making the changes in here. So the first thing I'll do is import react dom from react dom. We need this because we will be mounting it. Okay, then, then the next thing that we will do here is get an access to the model root. So I'll create a const model root and uh, use the document dot get element by id and pass in the model root as the id in here. Now what we are doing here is uh, in this index.html we have this div with an id of model root. We are getting a reference to this div inside our model.js file and this model root will kind of hold a reference to that specific div element. The next thing I will do is create a constructor function here that takes uh, props. Okay, So whenever you use the constructor you call the super and pass on the props to the parent class which is react.component. Okay, now what we want is we want our existing uh, model dialog to be mounted into the model root. right? So we want uh, this to be mounted into a model root. So we will create a placeholder element for now here. So I will call this dot element is equal to document dot create element and let us create a div. Okay. Now in, in case we do not want this div to be created, right? we could actually kind of take out this backdrop style div and create it outside of this and then attach it in here, here as well. right? So for now I am just simply creating a uh, reference to a div element. Okay, later on I will mount this entire thing within this div element and then this element will be mounted onto the model root. Now since we created a js dom element and store it into the this dot element right. So this will typically will work when we mount this uh, DS, uh, this dot el element into the actual model root right. So we will use uh, we will use this mounting or we will use this loading within the component lifecycle event. So in this case component date mount event. So whenever the component is mounted so what we will do is we will get an access to the model root and then append the element as a child okay, so that uh, this uh, js dom element is added to the actual uh, element within the html root. Okay, this is one thing to do. Next what we also need to ensure is that whenever the component unmounts right, or if it goes out of scope we have to remove this element. So I will say model root dot remove child and pass in this dot element. Okay, now the basic mounting is done. Now in the final step we have to refactor our render method so that this div element is being rendered within the model root component. So what I will be doing is I will be kind of taking this entire component markup from the render okay, and putting it within a variable here. I will call it as where model ui is equal to. Okay, I will put this entire markup within in here. So I, I am actually storing uh, all my entire markup for the model into a model UI variable. Then what I will be doing within this render is instead of returning an element, I will say return a react dom dot create portal. Okay, the first thing that it needs is a element to be rendered, right? This can be any valid, valid react element. So we will give model UI that we just created. And we have to mount this element within this dot el, right? So this is already uh, created by us in the constructor function in here right. So this dot el is pointing in here. So we are taking up this entire markup and we are mounting that within the this dot element that we just created which is actually connected to the model root and this model root is outside my root element here right. So we are taking it from within this root element to the outside root element. So once I do these changes in here and save my file 
and if I go back to the browser and see this application is running right so let's see so everything will work as expected see when I click on this button the model dialog comes up if I press escape the model dialog closes right the difference being is here so when I click on the show model observe the developer tools right so now the root is there we also have a model root and that model dialog that we see on the screen is now loaded within the model root DYD that we created right so we actually kind of rendered this element into a different parent and if I close this model dialog you will see this uh, model I, uh, dialog getting clear right in here basic cleanup is kind of happening this is what react portal can achieve okay so in short in summary what we did is we kind of took out our model element and rather than rendering it into the immediate parent we rendered it into a different parent now this kind of gives some uh, additional features and things that we can work with the application as our uh, entire application is not, not mixed within a single parent element right so for examples like pop-ups uh, for dialogues for uh, hover cards and things like that we can use the react portal feature i hope you like this episode and stay tuned for more episodes on javascript and react thank you very much and have a nice day